How many of you smoke today? Raise your hand. Guess what? Every one of us smoked today three cigarettes. We smoked equivalent to three cigarettes. Every single person who lives in L.A. County smokes, whether you like it or not. We don't call it cigarettes, we call it smog. That's the problem with a lot of our emphysemas. That's the problem with what you're facing. I have smoked one cigarette when I was 18, and I didn't even finish it. You know what? I have lungs issues. Not because I'm around anybody who smokes. My parents don't smoke. My friends don't smoke. Live in a house, lived in a condo, lived in an apartment, never came around to smoke. Not the issue of the secondhand smoke. It's I live in L.A. So you don't want to have any problems with your lungs? Leave L.A. This ordinance is not going to keep anybody's heart attacks down. Any children are going to be raised and they're going to be pure and there's not going to be any problems. It's not going to do any of that stuff. So should we adopt an ordinance? I think we should. We've got to start somewhere. You start somewhere. Let me tell you, for all you people who sit there on the sidewalk cafes and eat, and you have a problem with the smoker, guess what your smoke problem, your problem is? Is all those cars driving by. They're putting out more PMs than the guy who's smoking behind you. You just don't know it. The reason we have more asthma problems in the last few years, as the uh, one defecto person said, is because according to Southern California Association of Government, the air quality in the Southern California basin has gone down the tube in the last four years. We were making good progress, but guess what? Detroit is making all those big cars and they're puffing up more smog into the air. More population, more cars. That's your number one problem. All those diesel trucks, that's your other problem. All those planes that we all fly all over, that attributes us also. So it's not just one thing. I have an issue with the apartments because I think that's a major nightmare in making. So you go there and you say, okay, 15% of this building is smoke. Now you could smoke there. You have a building here. You have a person on this apartment. He's allowed to smoke. You have a building right next to it. It happens that in that building, there are non-smokers all here and the smokers over here. What happens when this person smokes and opens the window and the non-smoker smells? Did that person violate the law? Is there a problem? Did it actually create a problem? How do you do this? I don't think there's enough evidence out there of how different cities are dealing with this and it has been adopted long enough for us to know it has been adopted and debugged. So while I'm not saying no to it, I'm saying I will reserve my judgment on that particular thing. I'm not as confident and, uh, for that purpose.